The Vikings have two picks in the first round, but what are they going to do with them? Well, we'll get into it. Before we do, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, be sure to follow me on all social media at JK Bogan. Appreciate you guys. We're almost at 300 subscribers. Just started this channel, and uh, yeah, it's taken off, at least for the most part. So, the Vikings, pick 11, pick 23. Where are they going to go? Their quarterback right now is Sam Darnold. Nick Mullins is backing him up. And Jaron Hall, who they drafted out of BYU last year in the fifth round, is the third string quarterback on their depth chart. Now, looking at the Vikings, they have a pretty good roster. I like what they did this offseason. Um, I'm a big fan of their GM, um, you know, Adolfo Mensa, who I think is really good. Uh, I love Kevin O'Connell. Um, I think he's one of the better coaches in the league and we already know if you've, you know, actually paid attention and you, you saw the report card by the NFL PA, the Vikings are one of the best run organizations in football. So with that said, mentioned Sam Darnold team also went out and got a rival player, uh, that's going to sting obviously, uh, for the Packers fans, the Vikings went out and got Aaron Jones, who I think is a perfect fit to be the main guy there. Uh, I've always been a fan of his. Um, they added Trent Sherfield to their wide receiver room. They brought back Brandon uh, Powell. Um, not a ton going on there in the receiving room. They did lose KJ Osborne, uh, you know, in free agency. They added Dan Feeney in uh, free agency. Some depth there. Jonah Williams from the Rams. I can attest to him being very good. He's great against the run. One of the better in the league. Um, Jerry Tillery, they added in free agency as well as Jihad Ward from the Giants. Loved what they did going out and getting uh, Andrew Van Ginkle, who was unstoppable this year with the Miami Dolphins, kind of like their their chess piece. He was a, a defensive weapon, if you will. And then you had uh, Jonathan Grenard, who they add, and Jonathan Grenard is, is a huge pickup. Um, and then, of course, you go out and you get Blake Cashman and Camu Greger Hill. So, look, <clears throat> I like what they did a lot this offseason. Considering now that they have two first round picks, they acquired uh, the pick from Houston, um, you know, the 23rd pick. It, this is going to be interesting um, because I think pick 11 is going to be a trade up. And if they use both of them, I could see that to trade up and get a quarterback, but I could also see them not using both of them. I will say this, I do buy all of the hype and the surrounding noise about J.J. McCarthy going to the Vikings. It seems like, you know, sometimes there's there smoke screens and teams let out that they're interested in a player. And then other times they're really just that interested in the player that it gets out. And I think it's one of these times where they're just really, they really want him and I do think they're going to end up getting him. The question is, do they get him at 11? Do they get him high? I'm going to actually say, and this could age poorly, I think they're going to get J.J. McCarthy um, a little bit higher, but I don't think they're going to have to trade all the way up to five like a lot of these mock drafts. I think they move up a little bit, maybe give up a second or a third, um, but I don't see them giving up their 23rd pick. And so, you know, with that said, I think that they got that, I think a lot of people think they got that, to, you know, to trade all the way up. I don't necessarily think so. I think they'll end up with McCarthy in, in the top 10. But what do they do with pick 23 if they still have it? Let's talk about it. There were four positions that I highlighted that could be of need. <clears throat> we talked about running back. That's not a need. Quarterback, you already took care of if you draft J.J. McCarthy. You look at wide receiver, that's a need in my opinion. Um, underrated, they have a great one-two punch and Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison. But the fact of the matter is that Justin Jefferson does still need to get paid and you need another guy opposite those three. I mean, uh, those two, you know, who's going to be your wide receiver three, Brandon Powell, Trent Sherfield, Jalen Naylor, who was a sixth round pick in 2022 or Nikhil Harry, Tristan Jackson. I, I don't think any of those guys necessarily fit being a number three receiver to those guys. So, um, I think it definitely makes sense to grab a wide receiver. You wouldn't have to trade all the way up. I think this is around the time where you could go out and you could get maybe an Adonai Mitchell here. You could get, you know, maybe a Troy Franklin, a, uh, lad McConkey, 
Um, I could also see maybe for some it might be early, but <clears throat> going out and getting Xavier Worthy would be huge to put him with Jordan Addison and Justin Jefferson. You can't hate on that. So then uh, interior defensive line is the other option. Uh, currently, they I know they added Jerry Tillery. They have Harrison Phillips, Jonathan Bullard, and Jonah Williams, as well as uh, Jaqueline Roy, um, you know, fifth-round pick in 2023. I could still see them adding to this room. And if they're still there at 23, I think they could go with one of the two big guys, Jerzon Newton out of Illinois and Byron Murphy II out of Texas. I think look out for that. I think there's a chance that could happen um, depending. Then another option, the edge defender. They went out and they got Andrew Van Ginkle. They got Jonathan Grenard. But I think they could use another. Um, depends on who's there. The top guys at this point at pick 23 are probably gone. Law 2 is probably gone. Verse is probably gone. Dallas Turner is probably gone. So this is probably a day two option. I could see, you know, in day two, you know, looking at guys like Jonah Ellis, um, Darius Robinson, although he's kind of more of an inside guy, but still, I, I think he could work out, you know, um, Adisa Isaac, Chris Bradwell, Pra excuse me, Braswell. So there's some options there. Austin Booker. Um, so I could see that. And then quarterback looking at their corners currently, I'm not overly impressed. Um, they have Byron Murphy Jr., who's good, didn't have a great year, uh, really had a down year. Then you have Andrew Booth, who was a second rounder in 2022. Not sure what the deal is there. Is he going to figure it out or not? Who knows? Uh, Caleb Evans wasn't really great last year. I know he was one of their starters, but fourth rounder in 2022, he might have beaten out Andrew Booth for the time being, but I haven't been overly impressed. Uh, they added Shaq Griffin. He could very well start. Um, in my opinion, they could very well use another corner. So this could be the realm where, you know, you're looking at a guy, um, you know, like a, I don't know, Kool-Aid McKinstry or, you know, somebody like that. I, I could definitely see them going with that or Cooper DeGene. I think they need to add another corner. I, I do. Um, I don't love their corner room and I, I'm a big fan of, of their defensive coordinator, Brian Flores, but I don't love what he has to work with in the back end of the secondary. Um, I like the safeties. Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> Harrison Smith is older, um, but Cameron Bynum, I like him. I like Josh Metellus a lot. I thought he really made significant strides, um, you know, this past year. Um, you know, they still, of course, you know, they drafted Luis Cine in the first round of 2022 has dealt with, you know, some, you know, drawbacks there, the injury and so forth. But, you know, I, I think if I'm the Vikings and I could swing it where I grab a quarterback at pick 11 or whatever, and it's the guy I want, I think at pick 23, um, I'm going to go best player available. And if that's a corner, so be it. But I think Adonai Mitchell is too good to not pick. I also think the opportunity of putting Xavier Worthy with Jordan Addison, Justin Jefferson is almost too too good, right? So you get a young quarterback, <clears throat> whether it's him or Sam Darnold, you're getting him a really big time uh, bunch of weapons there by having Justin Jefferson, by having uh, Jordan Addison, and of course, whoever they end up drafting. So um Definitely worth the the look there. I think in conclusion, what you can expect is that J.J. McCarthy will end up being a Viking, and I think they're going to get a wide receiver or a corner or interior defensive lineman. Um, my best guess, I'm probably going to go with... I'll go with Adonai Mitchell. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to say Xavier Worthy. I, I'm going to say Xavier Worthy because I think he offers something that's not currently on the roster. So... That's what I will say. J.J. McCarthy, Xavier Worthy, those are my thoughts. Let me know what yours are below. Uh, very curious, Vikings fans, to, to find out what you guys think and, and who you're targeting. I'm learning more every day just through the comment section. Really appreciate it. Um, but that's going to do it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, folks.